All right, you already know how this works. New day, new story. So please go ahead, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's build this community up so that I can keep on going. I keep going if you guys keep supporting. And this is how it works. Now, this one is just fabulously fucking disgusting. A couple of days ago, I talked about, uh, I think it was a couple days ago. I'm not even sure, but a while ago, really. Let's say a while ago. I talked about, you know, freaking crazy ass dude cooking his ex girlfriend's, well, pretty much cooking his girlfriend's dog and feeding it to her. So, you know, the topic was about cooking, killing, and cooking. So, obviously, from the title of this video, you already know what I'm talking about. Yes, this shit is for real. You don't make this shit up. So, we, yes. So, we got a guy. Pretty much just gets out of, he gets out of prison. He, you know, he, he you know, he pays bail, so he's on bail. He, he breaks into his girlfriend's house. Kills her, cooks her, and eats her. Just wow. You know, it's these it's these kind of things that really really disappoint me. How 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 fucked up society can be. For one thing. This is not the first time he's killed somebody. Uh, back in 1998, he, you know, he was charged with manslaughter for his teenage girlfriend. So he pretty much killed his girlfriend back in 1998, and then he was out in 2012. And uh, he did something else. At, you know, he did something else after that, and then he got out again, and he now. Killed another one of his girlfriends, but this time he has, has eaten her. What the fuck? Why? Why did you let? Why did you let the son of a bitch out? Okay, look, he killed someone. Manslaughter. That's it. Manslaughter. He is a useless piece of shit to the to our society. He serves no purpose. All he's doing is taking up space in a damn prison cell. Kill the motherfucker already, okay? If you, here's the thing. If you kill somebody, you better be prepared to have your life taken. You better have your life taken. Because it, what you did is unforgivable. Now, what, like, in of its self-defense, that could be questionable. Now, if you kill someone just because you feel like killing someone, then you get the fuck out of this world. Get out. You serve no purpose. You won't help anybody. You don't help anybody. We don't want you. I don't, and that's what that's what really annoys me. Why? He killed. They think he got better. He get out in 2012. He gets out. Does some shit again. Goes right back. It's not as serious this time, but he goes back. <laughs> he gets out. Again, kills his girlfriend, cooks her heart, lungs, parts of her brain, utensils covered in blood, spatulas, forks, things like that, kitchenware covered in blood, as he pretty much cut her, cut her up and took the, took the parts out. She was she was found in the bathroom with the tarp over her, her body just oh my god and and I'm a guy who who I if I see blood I get all fucking squeamish like I mean oh I mean oh my god oh <coughs> oh god I don't understand how, why we have so many damn, mother, like, crazy motherfuckers out in this world. It's absolutely insane. We have way too many than we should have. I understand that there's got to be a balance between the two of them, you know? We, we got to have equal amounts of things. We got to have, a, you know, good amounts of good people and an equal amount of wicked people. It seems that, as of recently, this balance has gone...
There. She went off the fucking scale. The amount of the amount of sick fucks, that shit is off the scale. And the amount of good people left in this world is far below down the scale. Shit is fucked up these days. And if you're too fucking ignorant to, to believe that, I don't know what to tell you. Just fa face it, it's a reality, okay? Why do you think I'm able to put these things up every single day? Why do you think I'm able to put up a story mostly every day? Because there's so many things that happen in this world. And we live in 2014. We get information just like that. Just like. I, I, I don't even know what she did. It, isn't, it doesn't say specifically what she did, but it's just absolutely mind-boggling how anybody in their conscience can even think about doing such a cruel, heartless, unforgivable act as cutting and just like eating. Oh my god. Here's, here's what I don't understand. And this, I've I've heard of, I already pretty much seen these things happen before. Guy go, you know, guy kills, you know, guy kills, gets out, kills again, gets out, kills again. Uh, you might, if, if you're interested in these kind of things, then I recommend you check out the Skull Cracker, okay? I believe the Skull Cracker is, um, is a, uh, is a murder in England, in, in the UK. He literally cracks people's skulls, so he cracks people's skulls. He went to prison. He was let out on parole, I believe. Kills again. He cracks someone's skull. Goes back to jail. They let him out a third fucking time. Cracks the skull. Goes fucking missing. Wow. Wow, just just like that shit is just weird. Why? Why do we let him out? Why? Why do they deserve a second chance? Someone rapes a woman, goes to jail, gets out, rapes a woman, goes to jail, rapes a boy, goes to jail. And gets out. They get in and they get out. Okay, if one of these scumbags do something like this, with undeniable proof they did it, and then no one just like, you know, pretty much knocked on them. No, no one said some bullshit and just you know to get them away. Legitimate evidence that this person, male or female, committed the action that they are being accused of. Once they are undeniably found guilty we get rid of them there's no point okay there's a reason you get the jail cells are gonna they're gonna get full they won't know where to take them and some of them are just gonna like there's some that belong there are some that don't okay I mean, you, I mean you got some people going to jail for what smoking weed doing you know drugs like that Look, honestly, yes, drugs are illegal for a damn reason, okay? They're fucking, you know, they're destructive. They destroy people's lives. But if people want to destroy their own lives the way they want to commit suicide, then I say let them do that. As long as they don't bother other people, let them do that. If someone smokes weed, does it bother you? Will it affect you? Most likely it won't. If they do heroin, will it affect you? Only if they go absolutely insane and they go after you. But the majority of the time, it's, it's probably not even going to be a bother to you. It's, it's not going to be a bother. So I say let them do what they want when it comes to that. This is absolutely mind-boggling. How could you... How? What, what goes into your mind when you do these kind of things? I mean, on, on the way to his girlfriend's house, he's probably, you know, he, he... Not one idea, not one thought went to his head saying, well, let's see. I'm about to go to my girlfriend's house, and I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and kill her. Probably kill her. Cut her brain out. Her heart. Maybe a, maybe, a, maybe a lung or two. Yeah, man. That, that sounds... Damn, that sounds good. I haven't had lung. 
I haven't had heart. I especially haven't had brain in a long time. Hey, you know, you know what they say: you eat brain, you get smarter. Yeah, that's why. That's why the zombies are so fucking retarded. That's why the zombies were like, because uh, uh. they don't know what the fuck you're doing. They're mindless. Not mindless, but shit. That brain of theirs don't fucking work no more. That's why they want to eat brains. They want to fucking get intelligent. Jeez. Don't you guys know that's what zombies do? They don't want to fucking eat your flesh. They don't give a fuck about your flesh. They want to eat your brain because they want to get intelligent. Then they want to go ahead and take over the world. Don't you know how this is how, this is how it works? This is how shit goes. You know, this, this dude fucking needs help. Now, what the fuck am I to help? The help we should do is get rid of him. That's what we should do. We should help him go rest in peace. He killed once. He needs killed again now. That's it. Get him out of here. Okay? He killed one too many people. Yeah, we don't need, we don't need these kind of people no more. We lived in this kind of world for too long. We should get rid of these guys. Makes the world a lot better place. That balance I talked about. How about we bring this down. And we bring this back up. We need it. We desperately do need it. Alright guys, until next time. I will see you until then. Lates.